Matthew Davenport, Superintendent Consul ISD. I wanted to take this opportunity to give everyone an update of what our facilities and the bond planning has been happening the last seven months. Uh, we passed our $16 million bond in November. Uh, I'd like to thank all the community members and citizens that uh, supported us and approved that bond. Uh, and in this process through, through building this and future projects, hopefully we can gain the support and trust of, of those that didn't vote for this bond at this time. At the end of the 2023 school year, Collinsville ISD had 530 students district-wide this previous year. At the end of 2024, our enrollment was up to 579 students. It's almost a 10% increase of students within one year. Um, here at the elementary campus, every class has anywhere from 42 to 48 kids at the end of this year. Each class from the 23 to 24 saw an increase of six uh, at least six students per grade level. One grade level saw an increase of 12 students. Prepared to have three sections of each grade. Uh, we'll have three sections of fifth grade, which they're gonna be in the administration building. Uh, next year, we've got the three classrooms that converted those back to classroom. And then we'll have three sections of second grade. Um, teachers already hired those. For the other grades, we're kind of looking to see where enrollment falls. We haven't hired teachers for them, but we've got the space set aside that if we need to add a third section at the 1st of August, that's something we can do. Seven months ago, we passed the bond. Hadn't a lot been going on. Want to give everybody an update of what's going on at Collinsville ISD as far as our facilities. Um, over the last four weeks, if you've driven around the elementary school, uh, or the old building that was built in the late 30s, it's been totally uh, torn down. All that's left standing is the auditorium. The auditorium is going to remain standing. Um, we're going to do a little addition to, to that auditorium. We're going to add about 1,300 square foot of bathroom and some storage on that. And uh, that the auditorium will be accessible from the north side and also the west side once that's done. Uh, at the high school, we've began working on uh, the security, uh, upgrading the vestibule. Um, now, you know, there's a, a a buzz in on the front door. When you walk in through the front door, there's a window to the office. And if you're gonna need any business outside of the office, there's another buzz that you're gonna have to be buzzed through the second door of securities. Uh, the air conditioning at the high school, some of those air conditioner units are 30 years old, they're originals. Um, the building we just demolished had two or three years old air conditioners. We've taken those air conditioners, instead of throwing them away, we're reusing those and we're, uh, we're using the bond funds to uh, pay for the replacement to, of those air conditioners. But we're using air conditioner units we've already have. That's in process right now. Um, the big thing that was part of the bond was the addition to the elementary school. It was six classrooms, really eight classrooms. It's six gen ed classrooms, an art classroom, and a music classroom, and a new administration area. For the last seven months, uh, the personnel here at the school and with our architect firm, we've been working on that. We've got that almost designed out. That should be finished in the next couple of weeks. Um, we'll go out to bid. Hopefully we'll be break, breaking ground uh, elementary edition in September. Uh, where I'm standing right now, this will be a hallway going into the classroom. Um, we'll have different entries into this building this year. We'll send out more information as school approaches about uh, car flow and pickups and how to access the school building. But uh, like I said, right now, I just want to take this opportunity to show you what we've had in the plans and what we've done and what we're planning going forward.